My name's Steve May, and I'm the illustrator for the Two Terrible Vikings books, where we follow the adventures of Hack and Whack, who are the two worst Vikings in the village. Now, in the new book, we meet another character called Grunt the Berserker, who moves in next door and makes a terrible smell. But today, I'm going to show you how to draw another character from the book. I'm going to show you how to draw a picture of Dirty Elf, who is one of Hack and Whack's best friends, and is also possibly the grubbiest Viking in the world. Certainly grubbiest Viking child. Um, so Dirty Elf is called Dirty Elf because she is not very fond of taking a bath. So let's just start with that. Always start with the eyes first. So let's just draw in the eyes there. And I'm going to draw her looking mischievous. So let's have some, some eyes there as eyebrows and just draw in a little nose. And then a big smile like that. And she also has a big gap in her teeth here. Um, I'm thinking that her toothbrushing is probably not as good as it should be. Um, so as well as not liking to have a bath, she, uh, I reckon she doesn't brush her teeth as often as she should. But don't tell anybody, I told you that. So, got that face and we're going to draw the face in like this. And she's going to be jumping out. And I think I'm going to have her pretending she's being a troll. So she's going to jump out of the snowy wastes and terrify everybody. So we're going to just draw the, the arms in. So she's running out and making troll gestures. Now I've never met a troll, but I'm assured this is the sort of thing they do. Dirty Elf, if Elf knows, I trust Elf. So, Vikings often lived in very cold parts of the world. So, little Elf wears a big furry um, waistcoat here. Where does you have it? And it's equally just as scruffy. I don't think it's probably been washed for a while. It's a big furry waistcoat. And then I'm just going to draw her jumping out up. So I'm going to just draw her foot in there. And draw the legs um, like that. She's wearing some big boots, big furry boots. And we just put the other leg in like this. So we've got a picture of her jumping up in the air as though she's saying, Boo! And do you know how the Vikings used to say boo? They used to say, Boo! I don't know this for sure, but I'm just guessing. I think they would have said boo pretty much like we did. So here we are. She's just jumping out up off the ground here and a shadow and then we'll put a little bit of snow coming down here so she's sh jumping up and this is you know surprising somebody unsuspecting now oh i didn't mean to do that that's just making a mess but we'll just pretend that that's more um more more dirt coming from um Ulf. Now I'm using a thing called a dip pen. I use it and dip into the ink. It can be quite messy, so you might want to use something different, a different sort of pen. You can use whatever you like using. I like using these, but they can be a little bit messy. But for Dirty Elf, this is great because Dirty Elf is very messy. Now the best fun about drawing Elf is drawing her hair. So again, Vikings certainly had access to combs. But very often, um, let's move this up so you can see this a little bit better. Um, 
I don't think Dirty Elf um, has really ever been near a comb. So her hair is the best part of drawing Elf. So her hair is an absolute riot. So you can have really good fun with this. One of the best things about being an illustrator is being allowed to scribble on things. So it's one of my favorite parts of this job. And this is why I love drawing Alf, because she's such a lovely, scruffy, wild character to draw. So you see, she's got all these bits and pieces coming out of her hair. You know, it, uh, and it's just, it's just chaos up here. It's just absolute. This is what happens if you don't brush your hair for a long time. So, you know, it's probably tangles, it's probably got all sorts of things in it. Old shoes, mice. And then we just draw a bit of, bit of grot on her, because she's a bit dirty. So she's not had a wash, and so she's got gubbins all over her face. And gubbins a lovely word. I should say gubbins more often, shouldn't I? Gubbins, great. Oh. Oh. So we just add some more colour there. And Ulf is always surrounded by a great big load of dust and dirt. And again, this is great fun because you can just drawing this in is always good so she leaves us a sort of trail of, of dust behind her I'm gonna add a few and let's put a little a little patch on the clothes as well and you see she's great fun to draw because she's a real little menace um, shade this in a little bit there have some more um, this in so we can see that. Now that's nice. That's nice and messy, I think. And um, I think I'm going to just draw a little um, a troll in the background. So Alf is pretending to be a troll. So let's have a real troll here, looking a bit confused. I don't know what a troll really looks like, but this is my guess. Here's a troll scratching his head, thinking, who is this little girl? And why doesn't she use a comb? So we'll draw the, the troll and he's holding his troll comb here. And maybe he's thinking, this human girl is so scruffy. Let's draw the troll in there. Standing with his, his two legs there. Well, I've made a bit of a mess here, but this is part of the fun with drawing anything like Alf. You can make a bit of a mess. So there's a bit of a troll looking a little bit askance there, thinking, perhaps this little girl would like to borrow my comb. But she bet she won't. So I'm going to just sign this. Well, Steve. Try that again. Steve, hey. So here we go, dirty off.